Protesters are gathering on Madison's east side. They're taking issue with the arrest of some of their leaders, including 26-year-old Marquan Clark, who police say is a person of interest in an arson attack on Madison City County building. Tony Galley joins us as Madison's police chief defends his enforcement. Tony. Amber, this protest actually is taking place on the west side at Rennebaum Park, and it grew out of a Facebook post from the Party for Socialism and Liberation. That Facebook post maintaining that police have been targeting activists, protest leaders for arrest. Tonight, these folks here, and there's about 50 already, are going to be calling for the release of some of these individuals who are incarcerated, including a person of interest, Marquand Park. But police are pointing to this. Uh, there are images of someone throwing an incendiary device into the Madison City County building last week as a protest to police treatment of people of color continued. Acting Police Chief Vic Wall says there's been no targeting of protest leaders for arrest. The chief maintains there's been no attempt to clamp down on the protest movement. Mr. Clark is a person of interest in uh, the arson that occurred here at the City County building. So the notion that we're uh, not respecting First Amendment rights is just ludicrous. It's not the case. We are going to follow up on people that are engaging in significant crimes. Chief Wall continues to defend the arrest tactics used with activist Devonir Johnson, while protesters say police brutality was involved. Johnson faces federal charges for allegedly threatening to damage State Street businesses and one owner unless they gave him money, food, or beer. Now, at the time of Johnson's arrest last week, Madison Mayor Satcher Rose Conway was calling for a quick processing of Johnson through the court system. That did not happen tonight. She has a different tune. She's praising the, uh, the arrest of Marquand Clark as a person of interest and identifying the fire bombing, as she calls it, of the city county building as extremely dangerous, not only to property, to people such as those uh, in jail, those in juvenile detention, and those working in the 911 center at the time of that incident. We'll have more tonight on WKOW.com and at 10 o'clock as this protest develop. Reporting live from Madison's Renabom Park, Tony Galley, 27 News.